Hey, what's going on, folks? Clutch here. Welcome back to Upper Mississippi River Valley. Another beauty day out here. A little bit of cloud cover, but uh, we're hanging out up at, oh, we got the church right here, actually. Right at the corner, corner of our property. And uh, I've got this one field here. I've been talking about this for quite some time. And I think maybe we uh, we should get into this field, do a little bit of work. Some of the fields are starting to turn, but those two fields there I've got leased out. They're not mine. Uh, so that's not my crops, unfortunately. So all my crops, I think I got one that might be getting ready to go already, middle of summer. But if I can cut this grass, get some hay out of this, and uh, maybe move along with that, maybe that would be a benefit for us later on. We got those cows the other day, and uh, I could really, you know, start working that that angle. I need, I need some hay. I need to get some with some hay. So we'll come over here. I think we'll do some cutting out here as well. I think that's going to be the plan. So once again, 1980s edition, Upper Mississippi River Valley going on today. And uh, yeah, folks, make sure you guys drop that like, slap that like on the way in here. Just so you don't forget. And I will catch you guys on the other side. Let's do this thing. Pitter patter. Clutch simulations. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. You can see, like I was saying, some of the crops, these ones here we planted. They don't look like they're ready yet, guys. Still coming up. I think we got soybeans. I want to say soy on this side. I think we got wheat over here. Maybe it's the other way around. I can't remember anymore. We do have one crop. Oh, there you go. You can see it right down there. The golden field. Uh, I think that is pretty much ready to go already. It's so early still. We're still middle of summer. But do I take it when I can? Or do I let it grow a little bit longer? I don't know. I don't know. But I want to get the grass off first. Uh, but before we head that way... You know what, we've got some grass and some, or some hay and some straw still in that cattle barn. I gotta feed the cattle again. You know, it's been a couple days and uh, I've left them alone. So I better get in there and take care of those guys right off the right off the hop here. Uh, where do we got that 4440? We got the 4440 or somewhere. Gotta grab that bad boy and use it. Oh, watch that corner. Nice. Uh, back to the silage pit. Because <laughs> I still haven't done anything with this. Huh. Where, where did I leave it? Did I put it? Um... It's over here somewhere. I know I've got it here somewhere, right? Oh, I know where it is. I know where it is. It's in the back side of the shop. That's right. That that makes sense. It's right there. It is. I can see. There it is. <laughs> I forgot where I put it. All right, we'll put this right here for now. That's good enough. Excellent. Look at oh, look at the chef. It's a little bit muddy out there. Uh, looking pretty good though. All right, we got 4440. I've got the only one. This is the only tractor I still have with those hay forks. So we're gonna grab this bad boy. Bring it on out. Sweet. Get her off the ground. All right. Let's go. Let's go. So, we got some hay bales to move around. A little couple straw bales. I think I've got, uh, what is it? The 4520 sitting in there still. The 4420. I can't remember which model that one is either. But uh, it's still sitting in the shed here waiting for me. I've got that hooked up to that hay buster. Right there. There she is. So that's what I've been using to, to pull uh, straw in, into there. But as for the hay, we could just bring this down. Let's grab this bale. Perfect. Like I said, I don't have a lot of bales left, though. I'm already down to only three bales. I mean, we didn't bring a ton up here, mind you. I know we talked about this the other day. Uh, but we do need to get some more. Oh, man. Cattle. They go through so much. <laughs> that's the one problem we're having out here as well. They don't have a huge pasture. So we're not getting a lot of free feeding going on, unfortunately. I wish our pasture was a bit bigger and we could handle, handle actually a little more cow, cattle that way. But since uh, it's such a small pasture, we're kind of limited on the amount we can actually use here. As you can see, there's not there's not a lot of room in here, guys. We don't have a ton of space, so they're not getting a lot of, a lot of food out of this. Excellent. All right, we'll just drop this in here. Should spread all out. Lock this on up. Good stuff. All right. Leave that there. And back up top we go. So that should unload. They've got lots of water still. I just checked that. But uh, I do need to get uh, some straw in there as well for Betty. You can see we got some manure actually in the pit where well, the water trailer is growing now. But it's okay. That's fine. <laughs> I'll just do some straw in here as well. And we'll put that down below. This is actually a pretty convenient little design they've got set up in this barn. I mean, we just have to put it into that hay bind, uh, that hay buster right now. And we're good. We don't have to bring it down below. Kind of a simple setup. I don't really mind this. Oh, what I do mind is my driving skills. Come on, Clutch. Get with it. And grab it. There we go. All right. Nope. I still don't have it, do I? Oh, get on there. All right. There we go. 
I think I've got enough of it. Do I have enough? I just have to be nice and just nice and gentle. Nice and gentle, Clutch. You can do this. <laughs> All right, put it in. Cool. All right, so we're going to bust this up as well. And uh, then we can get on with our day. I think we should, yeah, if we cut that, all that, that one field up, that should be enough. I do have a second field. I'll show you guys in a sec here. Come on. Nice. That uh, I want to possibly make some silage out of. Uh, right now, like I said, we're just feeding them grass. Or hay, I should say. And that's not going to, I don't know. We're only getting a certain amount of productivity out of these guys. I'd like to get them proper food. But we do need to uh, move along off the food chain there and get some silage if we want to do that. All right. 44.50. Up and going. Let's fire this up. Fire this up. Come on. Work for me now. There we go. I think it's running. <laughs> there we go. Now we're good. Look at that. Perfect. Yeah. Should I get, put it in gear? That's all. Look at that PTO engaged. And there she goes. Excellent. Straw is going down below. And they got nice bedding for our cattle. Sweet. Let's go down below and actually take a quick look before we uh, forget here. Can I get down this side? Yeah, right here. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the straw in there. Nice. Hey, buddy. How are you doing? Oh, sweet. All right. So our, what do we have? About 40 cattle, I think, is what we're maxing out at right now. Um, I think that's about as much as we're going to be able to put in this pen in the, in the grand scheme of things, guys. It's not exactly the biggest cow butt pen out there, but it is nice and compact, and it's relatively easy to use. The fact we've got this fairly large storage area up here, I really like that. Excellent. All right. I'm going to let this do its thing. Uh, it'll be done in a sec. I'll shut her down. But we got to head over to that field and see if we can get and uh, cut some of that hay up. Hopefully. Hopefully it's good to go. Hay's all busted up into uh, into our cattle pen there. I got the 4450 with us. We're going to go hook up, well, to our new Holland hay bind here. Nice. Let's back this on in. We'll hook this on up. And from there, we should be good to go. This should be a relatively straightforward cut. I would think. So this is the other field, actually. I wanted to talk to you guys about this. This is the other field. We planted this earlier in the year. It is almost good to go. You can see it's coming up. Uh, we've been fertilizing the snot out of it. I think it's almost ready. Oh, man. I'm, I need to get some hay out of it. This is a bigger field than what we're going to be doing today, of course, too. Uh, the field down by that church is a bit small. We're not going to get a ton of hay off of that. But I do. I'll take whatever I can get right now because we're, we're down to, what, three bales, right? So I do need to kind of hurry up and snag that get something going here and hopefully if i play my cards right which i never seem to do um if we can cut it right off the bat here because we're still early in the summer maybe we can get a double crop get a bumper crop off that easy nice and easy come on perfect um yeah maybe we can get a bumper crop off that field as well and get back into it come uh come the fall here i don't know all right well let's head out that way it's just at the end of the road there yeah you can see the church from here actually just at the very end, you can see it down there. We got uh, our fancy digital gauge, 40, 45, 20. Oh, man. Fancy dancy, I tells ya. I tells ya. What do you guys think? Are the duels on the back of this 44, 50, uh, is, are they a little bit too much? I don't know what to think. I, I think it looks funny with just the singles on this tractor. I think you almost have to have the duels back there. I love the two-wheel drive, the, uh, the older John Deere uh, two-wheel drives on these great tractors but it just looks a little bit funny with the singles i find i just always have to have doubles on this size tractor um and this one looks really good with the doubles i find but that's just me let me know what you guys think down below if that's your style or not i don't know with singles it might look a little bit funny i thought about putting singles on it and uh i tried it and i'm like eh, yeah i don't think so i don't think it's gonna work for me and then plus you're with these ones you hear you're stuck with the axle sticking out the side still too so why not just leave them on why not leave that with that extra wheel on for the work we're using it for as well, for the most part, I mean, it's going to be basically a carting tractor. Uh, I think that's that's the basic cause for it, right? We'll leave it on. There's no, no reason for us to take it off. I mean, we can, even for cutting the grass here, cutting our, our hay, um, obviously this should push out far enough that I'm not going to be driving on any of the crop either. It shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I'd be more worried about it if we were, of course, driving on top of our crops. But since we should be able to just push this all the way out, let me see if I can do it right here now. Get all the way in. Let's see, other way, other way, other way, other way. There we go. See if I can pull this in. Fire this thing up. Let's take a quick look and make sure she's running properly here. Oh yeah, it looks like everything's going good. Nice, I like it. 
All right, so now in theory, once we go into the field, it should pull off to the left-hand side of us. In theory. <laughs> Come on. Drop that down. How much farther can I get this out there? Can I go any further? Is that as far as it's going to go? I think that's as far as she's going to go. I might have to. So maybe yeah, if I got rid of the duels, it might actually help a little bit. You can see I'm kind of just rubbing that one wheel on the inside a bit there, guys. It's not the end of the world by any means, especially with grass, right? It's just grass. Um, but like, for instance, now, as I get in here, we're going to be running into a little bit of a problem because I can't go that sharp against the trees. There we go. Nice. You can just take her nice and, nice and easy. Push out a bit more, a little bit more. Try and get as much as we possibly can because uh, I want to be up against this. I want all this field. I want all the hay I can possibly get off of this. Otherwise, there's just no point. Oh, man. All right. Unfortunately, the stuff that's on the inside here is more of a... It's, it's like a field grass. And it doesn't do us any good, so... Trying to avoid as much of that as possible. Uh, we'll get by this tree here. And then, I think we should be home free for the most part now. For the rest of this field. Oh, come on, baby. Nice and easy, nice and easy. There we go. Trying to stay out of this ditch. Perfect. It's a little, a little wonky through there, but that's okay. Come in a little closer. Sweet. All right. Nice and easy. We got a nice, easy six mile an hour cut going on. You know what? Bigger field than I thought. It's it's kind of triangular shaped. So down that way there, I think that is uh, the ethanol plant down in the far corner there. This kind of just leads down the main highway. What, we got Highway 16 right here that runs right by us. Uh, kind of the secondary highway out of here. And then off to the east or the west, I should say. That will be the way down into McGregor and then down the hill below. It's down to the city center down there. So we're a little ways out of town, that's for sure. It's definitely a trek to get up here. But, oh, I'm missing a little bit. I can take a bit more than this. Let's push this out a bit further. That looks good. Right about there. Sweet. First headland is just wrapping up. All right, perfect. So far, so good. Um, I, I'm not sure how long it's going to take to dry this. I checked the forecast earlier. Looks like it's going to be a decent enough day. Uh, no rain in the forecast. We got a little bit of wind. So hopefully uh, this is just... Easy peasy and it dries within a couple hours here. I'm hoping I can pick this up today, to be honest with you. We'll see uh, what how that's going to work out for me. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If I don't, well, we got to wait, I guess. Oh, come on. Come on around here. Come on around here. There we go. Easy. Oh, man. You know what? I might just try and cut this one corner off here and take the rest later. Uh, it might work out better if I do that. Such a pain. There we go. That looks better. Yeah, if we just try and maybe push this corner off, I don't know if that'll work or not. I could. It might make life a little bit easier for me. Or we could just start over on the far side, doing a bit of a zigzag back there. It might make things a little bit easier for us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> we'll see. I'll make a, make a judgment call in a sec here. But uh, you know what? This isn't too bad. It's only oh, it's 8 o'clock in the morning here. So uh, we've got all day to do this field, really. Come on, baby. Come on. Cattle are happy. And uh, everything else is kind of status quo right now. I could still get into There's a wheat field we could potentially get into. I don't know if I want to get into it yet, though. Oh, man. I really don't know if I want to get into that first thing or not. It's still so early in the year. I'm nervous. I mean, if it's dry enough, we should be, we should get into it, I suppose, right? It's not going to get much. We're not going to get any more, thing, any more product out of it. Looks like it's just ready to harvest. Um, before we get any weeds in it, I should probably get in there. <laughs> Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Ah, uh, man. But I can't believe it's already harvest season out here on Upper Mississippi. It seems like we just got going here today. I feel like I was planting yesterday, to be perfectly honest. But I guess it's been a couple of days. I guess it's been a couple. So maybe we'll jump into that wheat field afterwards. But look at, like, yeah, golden crops all around me. I'm seeing golden crops. And uh, it's middle of summer still. So maybe we should jump in there and get to work. I don't know. I guess we probably should. Uh, let me finish this this, this uh, grass field off first, and then we'll uh, maybe I'll, I'll contemplate that a bit more later on. <laughs> yeah, I switched it up. We decided to just go ziggy zag. Um, looking at this, look at the dust we're coming off of this hay. I mean, I know we get a lot of dust from hand, but uh, I feel like our hay bite here is. Uh, I feel like it's rusting as I watch it work. <laughs> Been in here for I don't know half an hour. 
And it feels like it's rusting as I work here. Just the, the, the amount of dust and stuff we're getting off this thing is ridiculous. Anyways, um, it's a bit of a pain to flip this bad boy around. I thought it'd be a little bit easier, but it, uh, it kind of likes to bind up on the old three-point hitch back here. And it would probably be better off. We just had a simple ball hitch or a simple pin hitch on the back of this tractor and not having to deal with uh, trying to, you know, try to deal with that three-point hitch because whenever we turn too sharp, um, the, uh, the support arm, it tends to bind up on the three-point bracket itself. So you really got to take her easy. Otherwise, you're gonna, we're going to break stuff. And I really don't feel like breaking stuff today. I mean, that's usually my go-to, but I think today I'm going to try to get through this without breaking too much stuff. But it's a bit of a pain to get around, uh, flip these things around. Let's see if we can do this again here. Instead of going up and right around as well, because you got to double back on yourself, essentially. I've been kind of cutting it up this way, straightening this piece of uh, this equipment out, and then flipping it around. So you can see what I've done there, and then try not to go into the ditch too hard. And then come back out. And then push this, oh, other way, other way, other way, clutch. There we go. Get all the way out that way. And we should then be able to drop it in again. So you can see what I mean. It's a bit of a it's a bit of a rigmarole to uh, flip it back around. Uh, it's not the end of the world. Oh, uh, my driving, however, best driver in farm sim, is uh, requiring some skill. <laughs> <laughs> all right, there we go. We're back to normal. But yeah, like I said, you got to kind of push it out and then uh, flip it around and move everything around while you're doing it. It's a little bit of a, a funny little trade. But it does, it does do seem to do the job. Nice if we can get something a bit bigger one day. I mean, this is such a small swath we're getting here. Um, that bigger field is going to be a bit of a fight. I, I just can see it now on how much time it's going to take. I need to figure out another way of doing this. Like, could we get two of these on the back of the tractor somehow? That would be pretty sweet, wouldn't it? Having one on each side, maybe one up front. Man, someone's got to come up with that technology. That'd be awesome. And finally, down to our last couple passes, guys. Looking good. Things are looking good. You know what? I uh, thought it would take a little longer on this, to be honest, but we're doing all right. Let's lift this thing up. Go spin around. We'll go this way here. Crank this thing over. <laughs> it's such a rigmarole. Oh, man. Perfect. Yeah, it didn't take too long. I didn't. I don't know. You can see how many passes we had to do there. Uh, rough estimate, but we're, I mean, it took us an hour, I guess. Not a big deal. Need to uh, wait for this to cure now. That's all I got to do. So, you know what, we're going to go back, maybe do a little bit of work on our baler, get that thing prepped and ready to go, and uh, then we should be good to go time to get in here, hopefully make some hay bales. I'd like to get those made today. We'll see. Hopefully this stuff cures. That's all I'm waiting on now. Whoa, up on two wheels. See what I mean? That three-point hitch. Yeah, giving me grief. Giving me grief. Let's see, grab this last little bit. Come on, grab it all. Thank you. How much we got left there? Maybe three passes? Sweet. All right. All right, I think the baler is good to go. I've been actually working on the uh, the eighty eight twenty turbo as well. Getting the combine ready to rock for the harvest season here. Looks like she's she's good to go. I think we're ready there. Uh, as far as the the uh, baler goes, this is a brand spanking new baler. One of the new ones with the belts. Like look at the belts we got on this one. All brand new, fresh belts. Uh, this is brand spanking new on the farm. This thing is fantastic. Uh, I'm really excited to use this. So we're gonna take the uh, forty four fifty out once again. And uh, we'll hook up to that. Hopefully, it does a decent. Should be a right size for that, I think. Should be just a perfect tractor for baling with. Uh, I'm using this thing for everything today. I find I could go back to. Uh, oh, we can go to the 4440, I suppose. Sweet, connect it in. All right, let's go. But um, you know what? I don't mind being in the cab. I guess if we're going to be uh, putting up a bunch of hay dust everywhere, be nice to be in the cab. <laughs> Not dealing with it, I suppose. Oh man, now. We did a drive-by a little bit ago just to see how the dryness goes. You can see we're down to, what, 3 o'clock now. Um, it's still a little damp out in that. It hasn't quite turned yet, but it's starting to. So I'm hoping, if I play my cards right, guys, I can just kind of catch up to it. And as it's drying, it'll turn to hay kind of thing. I'm hoping we can pull this off. Um, it's all about timing today. It's all about timing. And you know what? I was out there as well. And uh, the guy we leased the fields to out here actually harvested both those fields we were looking at both those crops that were ready to turn he was already out there working away on those crops already they're gone um they would be gone right now pretty quick i bet so i was just out driving around i'm like oh man he's already out there harvesting middle of summer holy smokes he's out here already already harvested that's craziness so you know what that's 
kind of telling me I need to get my button gear and get over to that one crop in behind the barn here uh, and get on that one since it's ready to go. These don't look like they're even close yet. I don't know what's going on with these, but they look like they're... I don't know. They, they don't look like they're even close to being ready to go yet. Eek, I'm a little nervous. Yeah, look at that right here. Both of these crops are both totally done. He's He's gone in and gone out of them already. I feel like I'm falling behind. <laughs> look at, oh man, they're just so quick. I looked away and uh, come back out here and he's already got the harvester in and out within, it's been an eight hour day, I guess, but I'm impressed. They're all gone. <laughs> oh well. All right, so we'll get rid of this hay. Hopefully we can get all of it today, but like I said, I was looking like only parts of it were ready to go. Uh, looks like it's still, well, we're still getting a little bit. All right, well, that's okay. We'll get what we can right now. Now make sure we don't grab any of the grass. We'll wait till it all dries off. But uh, like I said, guys, it's uh, I, I feel like I'm behind behind the eight ball here a little bit, even though I shouldn't. I feel like I shouldn't, but I am. Drop that down. Get into the field. All right, let's go. Go 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 go. Oh oh oh! Come on, get this thing straightened out. Oh, God. This is not what I want to start with. I actually want to get all the hay since I'm already gonna be missing some here. <laughs> nice work, clutch. All right, go. There we go. All right. Get her straightened out and we should be good to go. Excellent. All right, man. I, I mean, I could have windrowed this, I suppose. Maybe we would have got a bit more. And I feel like I'm not getting all that much for uh, quantity right now. I mean, 25%. Just haven't gotten one bale out of this yet. This is not a lot of hay. Yikes. Um, yeah, it's going to take a, a bit to get full bales out of this. Come on. We're on the corner. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Come on. There we go. As long as it doesn't mix with the grass, we should be okay. All right, perfect. Um, yeah, guys, I was expecting to be getting at least a couple bales per turn here. 55%. Uh, We're not going to get too, too many off this. I think it's a little less than I was, I was just kind of planning in my mind. But, oh well. It, at least it's something for our cattle for now. And uh, I, I was hoping for more, though. I really, I truly was. Like, I'm going to get one bale per round almost, it seems like, here. That's kind of crazy. Hmm. Oh, well. What do you do? <laughs> Anyways, folks, uh, that's going to do it for us today here on Upper Mississippi River Valley 80s edition. If you guys enjoyed our 1980s Let's Play, uh, if you did, you guys know what to do, right? You got to slap that like button, slap that thumbs up. Say, hey, clutch, I like this video. It's cool. Um, and, of course, make a comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking on any of the stuff we're doing here. Love to hear from you down there. And, of course, if you're not a subscriber, I think it's time you hit that subscribe button. And, uh, yeah, make sure you join us for all our live streams and Let's Plays. We do Let's Plays almost every single day, to be perfectly honest with you. And we have live streams almost every day as well, during the week especially. So make sure you guys don't uh, miss out for one of those. Other than that, guys, I will hopefully catch you next time. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you then.